Appreciate now, it. moving ahead now, Kenya's former president, Uhuru Kenyatta, says a dialogue with those in opposition is not a sign of weakness, but a need, uh, a need to for engineering a uh, trajectory of moving forward. The former president delivering a presidential inauguration lecture tasked the incoming government to take stock of the future he wants, to Niger wants for Nigeria. A TVC News, Sifon Essien, covered the event and now reports. The International Conference Center Abuja comes alive for the 2023 presidential inauguration lecture. Leading the park of dignitaries is President Muhammad Umwari. Kenya's former president, Uhuru Kenyatta, mounts the rostrum to deliver the inaugural lecture. He begins by lamenting that despite years of independence from colonialism, African countries are yet to take their place among the committee of developed countries. Will Nigeria continue fighting for its place on the world stage with one hand tied behind its back? Or will it use this moment in time to embrace a brave new way of doing things and thereby unleashing the full might of this green giant? Drawing extensively from the Kenyan experience under his leadership, Mr. Kenyatta stresses the importance of inclusive governance. In the period from 2018 up to 2022, Kenya recorded some of its fastest development gains. It was the togetherness of the, of the Kenyan people that allowed my administration to steer the country through the difficulties of COVID-19. Speaking on religious tolerance and inclusion, the Sultan of Sokoto stresses that one of the ways to destroy a country is to show preference for one group over the other. It has been said that the crown of a leader is his integrity, his stronghold is his impartiality, and his wealth is that of his people. Of his people. And the Catholic Bishop of Sokoto shares a similar view, but with some nuances. Nigeria is a complex country of great possibilities, great contradictions, and no country, no business, no family, no organization has a future if you don't figure out how to manage diversity. The theme of the presidential inauguration lecture resonates all through the speeches delivered. The United Nations needs Nigeria and strong African voices to rise up, speak on the global stage, and double down on the multilateral solutions that meet the immense challenges of our time. Estimates show that the poorest 40% of the population consume just 3% of petrol. Poor subsidies are killing the Nigerian economy, costing the economy of Nigeria $10 billion alone in 2022. We must create a platform for intergenerational engagement. We must introduce policies that deepens youth inclusion and governance. Then comes the remarks by the vice president-elect. I can see the scales balancing the merits of democracy against those other forms of government. I can see plainly that an imperfect democracy is better than the most perfect dictatorship. President Buhari brings the lecture to a close by acknowledging the challenges of governance, yet tasking the incoming administration on unity. Today, we have embarked on a journey of introspection, enlightenment, and the collective growth. We have delved deep into the theme of deepening democracy for development. The presidential inauguration lecture, according to those in attendance, sets the agenda for the incoming administration. C4 ACN, TVC News, Abuja.